So we have a sweet pot with Nagila Turbonos, the local hero, the hero from the earlier rounds. Joe yes, is returning for definitely. the semifinals. We have a Nath stack stack to keep everybody honest. Then we have an Akiri Tracius Breach deck. And we have a spicy Kodama Tumna list. Yeah. Joe's impressed me a lot throughout today. All right. Well, I'm that it makes sense. I, I think I will abstain then, or else I'll, I'll throw my head into the, the absent stack stack because it's unconventional and that's that's always spicy to see. I, I don't know if it's uh, if if it's uh, if it's if it is stacks, but it, I if it's it, a fair if, guess. You know, if it's not blue, it's stacks ish. Yeah, in my opinion. And we are off to the race. We actually have a silence under the chromax here, which. Uh, I think does 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 make some sense because I'm not sure we have super explosive decks. Uh, of course, we have the breach deck which wants to cast a lot of spells, but but the breach deck is fourth. Yes, and the two other decks they they really want to lock down the game before we do anything, right? Yeah. So, um, so we see a soul ring and a chrome marks and a land. So Joe is off to the races. Yeah. So are we of course, we turn we're one. We're fetching. Dealer. We're fetching the green, uh, the red land for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So it's gonna be probably that is, a volcanic island. Yeah, that would make sense, and that is that is the dream. What you want, Nadila, yeah, right? Yeah, one Nadila is just a beating for the rest of the pod. Now this game for the rest of the pod is about Nadila. Yes, Disney Vader. He paired Thrasher. Uh, it is actually it should be Kodama and Timna and Thrasher and Akiri in the bottom left. Um, yeah. So it's a, it's an absent brew. We have a Sol Ring here yeah. and a Jewel Lotus. That seems seems pretty good. Play turn, turn one, one Kodama. Kodama. That yes. is that is that is something, right? That is uh, so we are off to the races here, guys. Yes. Turn one Najila, turn one Kodama. Double ramp. That seems insane. Okay. We have a game here. Okay. And the players are having a laugh about it yeah. as well because <laughs> this is uh, this is what you call magical Christmas land in the business. And Birds of Paradise pales a bit in comparison to uh, the first two turns. Yeah, normally a pretty good start, right? Yeah, but yeah. but now you feel super <laughs> yeah. behind. But yeah, the Jewel Lord is really showing off. It's flexing its power here. Definitely. Um, also, probably the deck then, apart from the Gila that can take best advantage of these this explosive moment because it actually has something to ramp into. Exactly. And we have another bird here. So the two players on the top are definitely ahead here. So uh, Joe gets to untap with his Najila. Yeah, and, so, we, and was a, I can, it's a Badlands, right? Yeah, it's a Badlands. Beautiful bla Badlands with the black border. Very, very always, beautiful. Always nice to see. Everyone knows that the black worm, they are a little bit better. They tap yeah. for a little bit more mana. We all know they add additional half of mana. Unfortunately, we can't use the half of mana. No, so we and we round down, unfortunately, because exactly. someone made the rules all wrong. But uh, yeah, for sure, the, the, I, there is something about the black border bling. Yes, I, I know the guys from from this from Tier yeah, One. They, sure they <laughs> black border drunkenness. Uh, have they referred? They have referred to as that, right? Yeah. Okay, so we see Joe here going for an attack. Who would you attack here? Here, uh, well, not Kodama. <laughs> <laughs> I assume that um, much. I'm thinking Nath. I, yeah, I, I don't think it matters too much, but yeah, Nath, he plays oh, black. Yeah, black, right? So there's a chance that he uh, uses his life total as a resource more yeah. than the other players. Do, and do you want to want to brawl the tree? Uh, <laughs> they're saying, I, I don't think so. It's just a easy four damage. Uh, Got to get those that warrior train rolling, yeah. just you know, because next time, obviously, you will have two if more one ones. It's from this point, Joe can win the game at every turn. Yes. Until they answer yeah, yeah, and Gina. since he's playing a turbulence now, he now he has the fodder for the callings of the world. Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if he's playing Infernal Plunge, but that is something that is uh, is played in this particular archetype. Yeah. Oh, so Imp Seal. We might see really, something really already depth. on next turn. So this might be a fast game. That that should fetch gas for sure. Yeah, I'm. Do you think he's going for the Atmos or one of the combo uh, pieces for Nadila? What would you do here? Uh, uh, well, the thing is, right. So he's he has only a single black, he and he only and he has doesn't white. have any green. No. And 
both like the repository in the nature's world they, I think he only plays nature world but they cost double green right so I think so yeah and I think Rebi it is is also but he no yeah he, he didn't hit his, la his land no, drop this turn not. so in this situation you could also just go for some mana dog side could be something Thing. Well, it doesn't really do. It's only two mana right now, but that could fix his his, his issue on, of the colored mana. So yeah. it, it's a safer bet, I guess. And and Nath, like a lot of the stacks, is obviously art artifact and enchantment based. So that's an option. Yeah. Okay. So we see a, a bit of banter between the players here. <laughs> They're arguing whose commander is going to do the most damage. Okay, so Joe found his card with the seal, puts it on top. Uh, and he's passing the turn. Okay, legit rolls. Did not take damage. So is that the new Undergrowth Stadium? Yeah, it's the Bell Upon so, Land. So he, here we get... I, this is some crazy stuff, right? He has yeah, a lot of mana easel, and... I like. Two, four, seven. seven mana. With Kodama, that can turn get out of hand real fast. Yeah, he could potentially dump his entire hand right now. Yeah. But he chooses to play Timna. Seems fine. It's It seems fine. You can... Putting out a Destiny Spinner. Destiny Spinner, okay. Yeah, so, and here the, like, the value is, is obvious, right? You, yeah. you you double spell, and then, uh, of course, you attack the Ad Nauseam player. Definitely, yeah. So, Joe is already down to 31, so his Ad Nauseam, if, if that is what he But again, as, as, as Chad points out, like yeah, he, he missed his land drop, and un, he can't both tutor for an, uh, a, no. you know, a land, and he doesn't have the double black right now. But but still, obviously, I, at least in our play group, we talk about that the golden rule being like put them down to twenty five, and then the, you know, the ad nauseas and get a, a some somewhat worse. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it's like you play fours, you play peer, so twenty five mm -hmm. disappears. Oh, that's so a waste not. Like, pretty good. That's a pretty good card in math. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. And flood of strand here. Just gonna be a fresh use. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, fair magic at it is being pointed out. Joe is trying to play fair magic. So, a dark side. I think I'm not sure, but I think that's the one, the thing he tutored for. But as you mentioned, dark side was not that impressive when he tutored it up. It got him what two mana? Three mana, because we waste not was played as well, right? Yeah, but you're, when, you're when pretty sure that that there's gonna be an enchantment more. So I would count this. Uh, oh, as there's also mana. destiny spinner. So actually, yes. yeah, we're, we're at get, four we're getting, now. We're getting it, four. It so getting I, I would have counted on three, four as a bonus. Yeah, I think it's decent. Oh, and a Revy, wow. So now... Okay, wow. So we need interaction here or Joe's run, Joe runs away with the, the game. He has two treasures open. Great stuff. So Joe is claiming to the pot that he doesn't win here. We can beat up on Nath for sure, right? But so he. But he he only has like four. how does he make the so he the gets, non uh, Boros mana right? No, he can't. He can he can only yeah. Due to his mana base, it's it, not enough. It's not enough. But it, like, can 
is really greatly set up, right? And then yeah, you just yeah, need like, a couple more drops. Like this is not going. This is poorly. what Nagila does. Yes. But then again, he can win here. So uh, vo uh, legit vocals with his Kodama Tumna in play. The thing is, yeah. Do you go for an extra combat here? I, I yeah, I think I would. Okay. Just to put pressure on the table and get the extra tokens and the life. Mm -hmm. I, I might just, you know, go for another play from the hand, I guess. In, on top of single yeah. yeah, I don't know. I, I like this line. Obviously, it also matters what he has in hand. Hmm. So, so the table are accusing Joe of ha having it all. <laughs> There's a bit of banter. It, it's nice to see that the players are having fun as well. Yeah, yeah for sure, for sure. I, I, this that, is what it's all about. This this is what happens when you when you have people who obviously play each other. Yeah, no, regularly. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we've passed the turn. At least we are, we're out of the weeds right now at the given time. Might not be come next rotation. Yeah. So chat argues that uh, Joe has Emil in hand, which- Razakath, bam. Wow, and- <laughs> That's insane. Legit is now the threat. Yeah. And he argues exactly. that he can win. Because yeah, I think so too, because he should be able to assemble dead Leonin because nothing can be countered. Yeah, nothing. none of his creatures can be countered here, and mm. he can sack the Tumna to get going. Yes. Find the... I am not... I, I'm pretty sure it runs through Lurus, right? So you find the Lurus, and then you find the Lion's Eye Diamond to pay for it. Well, in the, the other way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the table is now discussing how to it's deal a Hulk. with this. It's a Hulk win, I can, uh, the guys are saying. Oh God. In response to the Kodama trigger. Ah, that's really, that's really, really spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so he has, they have to kill all the things on so his board for this to work. Ras right? is on the stack right now. Yes. So they have to interact with first the Destiny Spinner, and we see a Nature's Claim on the Destiny Spinner here. So now count spells are live again. Mm. But as mentioned earlier, this is a pot with only two other blue players or two blue players. That is that is a really spicy way to do Hulk. I I I, I, I can like see it. it. I like it. I haven't so, played oh, against it, but I I see the appeal. Timner gets bolted, goes to the command yeah. zone. Then finding the Hulk. But he, given that it will create a trigger for Kodama, he can still sack the Kodama, right? To Razaket to find the uh, Hulk. Well, I with think the trigger on the stack right now. Oh, the Timna's dead. They get it, bolted. It, it's get bolted. Yeah. yeah. So he would have to sack the Kodama, get Hulk. This is this is in the response to the trigger. No, uh, all this is in. Okay, that resolves now, and then that's the trigger. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So now he's sacking Kodama and getting Hulk, most likely. Then yes, that's what Hulk. Chad is saying. And there, I, Chad is always smarter than us. The, yeah, yeah. And I, I think the guys have played against this deck. Um, so that's that, also that would advantage. make sense. Yes. Cheating, right? But let's. Uh, okay. Hopefully, we can see the line. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. So Hulk is in play, Rask yeah. had sacks Hulk. You sack the Hulk and find some kind of win. And he can, uh, well. I like this deck, it's spicy. Also yeah. a turn one Kodama helps a lot. 
I does. imagine it does. I'm not sure that is this is super representative, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, turn if you power up a six drop that 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 doesn't uh, it cheats on mana, that usually is a good place to be. I can imagine, yeah. So, what pile do you think he's running? I I just pulled up his deck list. Yeah, and I do see like some disciple, some. There is and the lesser Masticor, I think. Okay, and then you you It's the Masticor line. Got it's it. the Masticor line, so that means Melira, a sack outlet, and then you do the thing. So they still get a chance to respond or I'm not sure. There's still um he also has body snatcher in his deck. Oh to, to double hulk, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I think I think we're over here. Well, they're still responding to it, so potentially not, but it does feel like it, yeah. Yeah. At this point, if, if you get this far, I think it's uh, it's almost there. It, Hulk gets pretty hard to interact with at mm. this point, but Definitely. let's see. Chain of Vapor. Derevi. So, a spicy chain of vapor bouncing Derevi, probably trying to force Joe to sack his bad lands. Yeah, for sure. Okay, and now that's like they're really holding each other at gunpoint, right? So they're trying to throw, throw it around. Then he should, should sack a land. So this is, yeah. Uh, yeah, I usually play chain of paper like this to force, yeah, yeah, yeah. force other people beat up, up, up on them a little bit. Yeah, because the end state here is that if that you all lose, so you have to in yeah, my mind play to your outs. But does, is, is is chain enough? Like the Hulk? I, I don't think so. Or trigger like the Hulk has been sacked, so the Hulk triggers on the stack. Yeah, but but that was my argument. Could you have waited on these the uh, chain of vapor to bounce one of the uh, the, the, the sack outlet maybe yeah, sack well, outlet or no? You can you can do that on top of it. Sack it again. Oh, so isn't there a trigger when you sack it for it to return so in response to return trigger then you can sack then you can bounce the sack outlet yeah i think so chat are we wrong here yeah chain does this too early I, th I think that this is the wrong interaction window So, so that's it. We'll just. I, I, uh, I, I think legit got it here. Essentially, are we? Uh, we are the. If you won't do it, I won't do it. So he's just gonna bounce his own stuff. So now we'll we'll see the Hulk pile. We'll see the Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Hulk trigger goes on the stack, yeah, and then the chain of vapor bounces. Uh, it was the Revy that was bounced, and then the, the players discussed whether or not to sacrifice some lands, and you know, they just Mega said, "I don't want to sack anything. I'm not going to do it." Okay, then, then we can't win here. Yeah. Yeah. Hull trigger on stack. Hull trigger on. And then Razakev should be over that. Yeah. Oh, so we even see Grand Abolisher. And then we just re hulk Yeah. And we see Body Snatcher getting Hulk back and Hulk getting sacked to Rasiket again for what I yeah, imagine the is the actual final pile. pile. Yeah. So Legit wins this round and joins Spleen Face in the finals. Spicy, two Rasekat decks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think this, 
Well, it is a replicant, but it's, I would say it's a Hulk deck, isn't it? Well, that's probably semantics. There's no reason to, yeah. to you know, really hardcore argue about it. That was that was pretty impressive. I've never seen that before. And that I is something Spleen I wasn't aware, aware of. Spleen in the chat here says that he don't think that one piece of interaction will no, get there, and I agree. And yeah, Spleen, he just he just hard casted the the Razakev. Like he does a turn one Kodama, and then it's just you know.